In a fancy pant shopping center off Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, California, lies a tiny sushi restaurant with anything but tiny prices. This Japanese culinary shrine has room for 10, that's right, just 10 diners each night. So as you can imagine, this place is booked solid through the year 2306. Complete with a 300-year-old antique tableware and exclusive list of French wines and champagnes, many of the raw ingredients served in this establishment are overnight shipped from Japan daily. Chef Hiro Urasawa's 30-course feast will set you back an average of $395 per person, and no, that doesn't include the drinks. From white tuna and squid to beef tartare fused with caviar, Hero's culinary creations will absolutely blow your senses. Each dinner session runs nearly four hours, and most are stuffed by the first. Number 9. Marpege. Ah, the city of lights. Undoubtedly the fashion capital of the world, Paris is also known for its exquisite French cuisine. And one of the best places to let your taste buds roam free is at Chef Alain Pressard's La Perge. Dining here isn't about portion, it's about precision. Every dish is decadently crafted with care, and the end result is a vibrant visual masterpiece unlike any other. In 1996, it received its third Michelin star, and in 2011, it was voted the 19th best restaurant in the world. And if you want to experience dinner and dessert to the fullest, be prepared to spend an average of $400 per person through the evening. Ugh, look at that fried egg. Ooh la la, très magnifique. Number 8. Joel Robucon. We're back in the other city of lights, Las Vegas, Nevada, to experience another restaurant that excels in the art of appearance. This time it's Joel Robocon, located inside the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Joel is considered to be one of the most talented modern French chefs in the world. And with a menu like this, it's not hard to see why. They've got caramelized quail. They've got seared duck foie gras. They've even got this. I mean, look at this. I have no idea what the hell it is, but it looks absolutely amazing. With a 16-course tasting menu and a Michelin star under the belt, this place has won so many awards, it's not even funny. The average going price is 420 bucks per head, but hey, what were you expecting? We're in a casino for God's sake, and it's Vegas. Number 7, Anne Sophie Peak. We're back in France again. This time, it's Anne-Sophie Peak in the city of Valence. One of only a few female chefs in the world to operate a three Michelin star kitchen, Chef Anne's nine-course menu is changing the rules for modern French cuisine. With a stunningly beautiful dining hall, Chef Anne's signature dishes are just as elaborate. Her beef and egg dishes will leave your mouth watering. And as for dessert, her sculptures look like they came straight out of New York's Museum of Modern Art. The restaurant continues a long, proud family tradition of fine dining, with her father winning three Michelin stars in 1973 and her grandfather winning three in 1930. And with all those stars to hang on the wall, you know this dining experience isn't going to come cheap. Try around 425 bucks per person. Better bring that diner's club card with you. Number 6. Guy Savoy Monet de Paris. Still in France, this time back in Paris. Welcome to Guy Savoy Monet de Paris. Never was there a restaurant so aptly named because this establishment is housed inside a former French mint. Monet de Paris has been open since 1980 and is still owned and operated by world-renowned chef Guy Savoy. With three Michelin stars and a view that overlooks the Louvre and Pointe Neuf, the average diner can be expected to shell out over a half a grand for an evening of decadence. The 18-course menu features roasted lobster and artichoke soup with black truffle, among other high-ticket items. It also features the finest seafood, sharpest cheeses, and the most delicate desserts. Is that rack of lamb? Oh my god, that looks so damn good. And look at those amazing strawberries. Okay, I'm sold. If you want a delicious and hearty meal with all the French fixins, this is the place you want to go. Number 5. Alain Ducasse at Plaza Athony. Well, if you haven't guessed by now, it seems pretty clear that it's ungodly expensive to dine in France. And yes, we're still here and still in Paris. But this time, hopping and skipping across town to that restaurant. Look, let's just cut to it. When you got your own fancy name and logo branded onto the side of a crate of freshly picked vegetables, you know that place ain't gonna come cheap. The dining room, though, is simply stunning, with fancy chandeliers and jewels adorning the ceiling. The plushly padded chairs only enhance the ambiance of the main dining hall. And as for the food itself, fresh and vibrant. This restaurant is all about serving the best organic vegetables and purest proteins that France has to offer. All vegetables are picked the morning they are served, and all fish and seafood are harvested the day before. After all, you can't put a price on quality and freshness, right? Well, actually, you can. Try about 550 bucks a person. Number 4. Maza. Okay, we finally get to leave France for good this time. Thank God, I promise. Now, if you're a sushi connoisseur and you live or visit in the United States, Maza in New York City should absolutely be on your bucket list. Featuring dozens of exotic seafoods flown in almost daily from Japan, Maza is by far the fanciest and most expensive sushi restaurant in the United States. Coming from LA, Chef Mazayoshi Takayama first opened Maza in 2004. Since then, it's earned Forbes' five-star award, the New York Times' four-star review, and three Michelin 
Michelin stars. Mazda's multi-course prefix menu consists of five appetizers, 15 to 20 types of exotic seafood, and a dessert that will satisfy your sweetest sweet tooth. And at a wallet-busting $600 per person, you better believe it's some of the best damn sushi you'll ever have in your entire life. Take another puff of that stogie, Mazda. You've earned it, buddy. Number three, Kicho. Mmm, or sushi. But this time, we're in the motherland. Inside Kyoto Arashima District, there's a quaint upscale restaurant surrounded by a beautiful garden setting. Founded all the way back in 1930, the exquisite Kaisek cuisine is still dazzling designers 90 years later. Kicho just happens to be the most expensive three Michelin star restaurant on the planet. Known as a master of the traditional Japanese tea ceremony, executive chef Kunio Tokuoko delivers the most delectable plates featuring seasonal ingredients served with style. How expensive is the world's most expensive sushi? The average diner parts with nearly $600 of their cold hard cash every time they visit. Number two, ultraviolet. What if you could dine anywhere in the world? Where would you go? How about anywhere in the world? Okay, what the hell does that mean? The brainchild of French chef Paul Perret and opened in 2012, Ultraviolet is a multi-sensory dining experience that will absolutely enthrall you. They've got course-themed music. They project your name right on the dining table. They've got badass lighting. And most impressively, they have a 360-degree projection system that can make it look like you're dining anywhere in the world. How cool is that? Ultraviolet features a 20-course dinner menu, a full range of appetizers, and delicious futuristic-looking desserts. Chef Perret refers to his dining concept as psycho taste, which means he believes the ambiance of the surroundings actually enhances the smell and taste of the food. Sure, why not? Anyway, be prepared to travel to Shanghai, China, and shell out 625 bucks to psycho taste this concoction. And no, that $625 doesn't include UV glasses. Don't forget to bring those because this restaurant uses real UVB light, which will burn out your retinas and cause blindness if exposed to the light for more than five minutes. Also, don't forget your tanning lotion. Wait a second, is that a gummy bear? Number one, Sublimotion. Inside the Hard Rock Cafe in Ibiza, Spain, you'll find Chef Paco Ranchero's two Michelin star masterpiece, Sublimotion. So here's the deal. It's pretty cool, but it's basically a complete ripoff of Ultraviolet in Shanghai. You got your fancy lights, your projectors, your music, and a meeting table all bound up in a small room. But they had to do something to distinguish themselves from Ultraviolet, right? So remember how UV charged $625 per person? Yeah, try $2,000 ahead in this place. Now, despite the fact it actually has excellent reviews, would you spend two grand for a three-hour dining experience here? Yeah, I couldn't do it. I mean...